Hey guys, so this is going to be my quick little video on how you can set up your own Minecraft Beta 1.3 bucket server so you could play survival multiplayer with your friends. And now, if you are watching this video and it will name Minecraft Beta 1.3, it could be an old one, but it, it should work with newer ver versions as well. So if it's going to work with new versions, then I'm just going to change the little title to like, let's say Minecraft Beta 1.4 or something like that. Okay, so, if, if you don't like to mess with your router or if you have tried to like port forward and do all those things, or if you have ever tried to set up a own server and, um, oh my god. So yeah, if you have tried to set up a server before, uh, it's just never worked to port forward. You know, I tried those things, and it was so hard. I mean, I, I did everything thing correct, uh, but it just didn't work. So basically, this is going to become like a noob guide. So the first thing you want to do, if if you, this is okay. Before I start this video, this is not for like public, let's say you want a huge server with like 50 people online. No, this is not a tutorial for you, but this is for those guys that maybe have like 10 or 15 friends and you know, you just want to play. So, the first thing you want to do is to go to filehelper.com and download a program called Hamachi. And it, it's basically a program that... Uh, you, if you run it, then you won't have to port forward. Uh, basically, it's doing the, all of those router things, all things for you. So uh, it's kind of simple. Download it, and download it, and go ahead and install it. And the current version right now is Hamachi 2.0.3.89. So yeah, so download that. Go ahead and install it. And then what you want to do is to you know obviously start it up and the first thing you're going to have to do is just to set up a name for your computer and then what you want to do is you want to create a new room so pick a new room name because you will get two options uh, and one of those is going to be to connect to a room and the other one is going to be to make your own room so make your own room pick a name you know it could be anything you want but a, a good name is probably your server name. So pick your server name um, as the group name and then just pick a password. It could be anything you want. And then, you know, you just hit go. And then when you have set up the server, you just connect to the little server because you, after you have created the little group uh, on Hamachi, you will be like automatically connected to it and you just click on this little button here to start start it and turn it off so when you have started it and when you are inside of your room as you can see this is my little room this is like kind of like how it will look like the first time you launch it um, so that is the first step so now when you have set up your own server room now it's time to download you know Minecraft beta multiplayer so what I suggest that you are going to use or this is bucket and it's not the official one it's not the official server server multiplayer uh, but the good thing with this version is that you could have mods and have all of those good things and this is the version that everyone is using right now so you just go to ci.bucket.org and then you just go to craft bucket and then you will see the latest build here, builds here on the side. And the build that you want to use is the latest one that has this little success thingy here. So this seems to be the latest one at the moment. So, oh yeah, they're finished right now. So we have a new build here. So just click on the latest build that was successful. And then you just go ahead and download this craft bucket uh, snapshot file. It's a Java file, so go ahead and save it to a computer. And then when you have saved it to, to your computer, um, just copy it to your desktop. Uh, so as you can see, I have my little craft bucket. This is basically your server. And then what you want to do is just create a new folder. 
and I will suggest you name this file. This is where all of your server thing is it's going to be in, in this folder. So you could have it wherever you want, but I'm just going to put it to my desktop because it's simple. So I'm just going to call it Minecraft server here, MC server, and then I'm just going to you know put that little server program cross bucket inside here. And then what you want to do is to create a new bat file so you'll be able to start. You don't have to do this, but I suggest that you do it. So you could name it whatever you want, like start server. Okay. And the extension that you want to use is BAT. And then you just want to open up with Notepad or Notepad++, whatever you prefer, as your little text editor. And then you just want to copy this. I will provide it in the description of this video. Just copy it, and yeah, there you go. So now we are finished. Now we could basically start our server. So I'm just going to delete this file. So just start up and you will see in the window will pop up and you will see all of these kinds of crazy stuff and yeah allow access obviously and as you can see it's like loading up you know don't worry this is like yeah it's preparing the spawn area right now Okay, so there we go. We are finished and ready to go. So now I'm just going to stop the server. So I suggest that every time you want to close the server, just uh, name it stop or just type stop. And it's going to sh save all the chunks and stuff like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is to go into server properties. And this is very important uh, because here you got some things like your level name. You may want to edit that to your um, name on your little group that you have on the Hamachi and then you have this online mode here and if you have online mode set to true that means that everyone that's playing on your server needs to have a account uh, if you're putting it to false then people that even haven't bought a game will be able to um, go into your server so I wouldn't recommend it so try to always have your online mode on to true uh, okay then we have the most important thing here and that is the server IP and that's basically the IP that everyone is going to type in in Minecraft to connect to your server so what server IP should you have here well it's very simple you know you have set up your own Hamachi room here so connect to your room and then just paste this 5.109.129.230 um, that is what I would paste in here as the server IP so I'm just going to paste it in here or just type it out 09.129.230 hit save and then you will see the server port here 25565 you don't have to change that and you also have whitelist, this new option that they have made in the Microbeta 1.3, I think. And so, okay. And then you also have spawn protection mode if you want to protect the spawn uh, place so people can't destroy it. So I would recommend that you use it because you never want to spawn where there's no blocks and it's just lava. You know, that's, that's, that's kind of horrible, you know. So, yeah now you are basically finished and set to go so now you may be wondering how do you connect to your server well basically now you just open up minecraft and log in the new launcher it's it's awesome and let's see here. Let's hope Minecraft.net isn't down because that website seems to be or seems to go down like every single time. That's not good. Okay, crap. Can't connect to Minecraft.net. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Try again. Oh my god. Okay, 
Okay, so play offline. Oh, they had this new. Okay, so now you just basically go to multiplayer option, then when Minecraft.net is up, of course, uh, and then you just type in that little server IP and then connect to the server. So that is basically how easy it is to set up a server. So now if you want your friends to be able to connect to your server, then basically what you have to do is first they need to download Hamachi. And the good, thi the good thing about it is that, um, you know, keep in mind to download the same version. I would recommend that you download the same version as all of your friends have. And then they just connect to your room after they have installed and everything and then you just put in the password and then when you will see your little friends pop up here then it will look something like this and as you can see a lot of players here are offline uh, but I have one person here that is online and when you will see your friend that is online here then they will be able to open up minecraft.net and just type in the server IP and if the server IP doesn't work then try to use the port as well so like 25565 so instead of just having server IP when you go to multiplayer then just use the this full one I think both are going to work so yeah that is kind of awesome and that is basically how it works and it seems like how much you have a limit on how many people you can have in the same room so right now I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay it's 15 15 people seems to be the limit that much you have and but yeah this is basically a very simple way to put up your own minecraft server if you want to know how to install mods then I, sh I probably could make a video about that too but yeah that's basically just a quick little tutorial if you have any problems then you know you can let me know so maybe I could troubleshoot it for you so yeah see you